Breaking news. Kandengui, English-speaking prisoners turn their backs on Ambazonian government. Rumors of friction within the Ambazonian movement are becoming more and more persistent. Several activists of the movement have, indeed, an instrumentalization of the current situation by the members of the interim government which officially represents the movement. Among these activists, Alex and Dive Lissinge, who in a recent post on social networks accused movement leaders of distracting funds raised for the assistance of English-speaking prisoners detained in Kandengui. Below its publication. A messenger does not receive the slap why do so many comrades die in Kandigui while the interim government, had collect millions on their behalf. I did not call the leaders of the Coffin Revolution, they called me because they cannot trust the caretaker government. They wanted the world to know how people use their names to make money for themselves and their families while they die in prison. They wanted the whole world to see how they are used as cash cow. The leaders of the caretaker government still brought a bill of $300 despite the fact that we have hundreds of our dying comrades incarcerated in Kandengui. They are unable to tell the people what they did with the $35,000 collected as fees for attorney's fees or the millions of dollars raised as part of my trip to BIA and my trip to American Airlines. The authorities have forgotten the dying king, nickname given to the general of Coffin Revolution. Our general of Coffin Revolution is unable to pay his medical bills due to financial difficulties. Today, they have undergone medical examinations, I spoke with some of the abandoned comrades. Their health is deteriorating at an alarming rate. The general needs funding.